report in which Amazon posted its first $100 billion quarter. In a statement to employees, Bezos says the move is a shift, but not a goodbye. He says in part, as exec chair, I will stay engaged in important Amazon initiatives, but also have the time and the energy I need to focus on the day one fund, the Bezos Earth Fund, Blue Origin, the Washington Post, and my other passions. I've never had more energy, and this is not about retiring. Fox analyst Larry Glazer says Bezos leaves behind big shoes and high expectations. Look, investors haven't lost sight of the fact that this company makes a ton of money. And I think that's great from an entrepreneurial standpoint, from an earnings perspective. It means the expectations are very high to keep making that money. They had a $100 billion fourth quarter. It's amazing that they were able to execute on it. That's why the box has a little smile on it, right? But that box may not be smiling under new leadership because they've got to continue to innovate, continue to grow. And the law of big numbers makes that really difficult. It's sometimes hard to remember that when Bezos founded Amazon back in 1994, it was just an online bookseller, not the worldwide retail phenomenon that we know today, employing more than a million people worldwide. That's right. So how will the Bezos transition impact day-to-day -day life at Amazon? We asked UW marketing professor Jeff Schulman. You know, the only thing predictable about Amazon is that it will behave in unpredictable ways. And so it's unclear what this new role for Jeff Bezos will mean and what level of involvement he'd have in the company going forward. It's hard to imagine him stepping back and letting the company that he built uh, change in dramatic ways. So as for investors, so far they don't seem concerned about the shakeup. Amazon shares were up about 1.5% following this announcement. 